Hello and welcome to another Friday Spiritual Lecture. This week we're talking about I am the creator and the expression of my world. So what exactly does this mean? In essence, it means that we are totally responsible for absolutely everything in our world. Now, if you think about that, it suddenly seems like a huge burden. Um, what a thought, everything is my responsibility, everything. It's massive. But when we turn it around, it also means that we are hugely powerful and creative. But what is it, what is it that stops us from recognising this immense power? So, well, the first thing is just the sheer uncomfortableness that comes when we look at what we've created for ourselves. You know, it's an awkward and horrible moment to have to admit that we created a lot of our life that just doesn't suit us. I mean, the question is, why on earth would we, as human beings, create things that we just don't like, that hurt us, that keep us small? Why? Because we think that this is what we deserve. You know, we believe that we are only worthy of the small things in life or of punishment and pain. You know, we talk down about ourselves. We criticise ourselves. We criticise our choices. We criticise our decisions. And on top of that, we then blame ourselves for everyone else's problems. And yet, when we help other people succeed, then we had nothing to do with it. <laughs> So this is a really, really important topic to understand. You know, we believe that we are so immensely powerful that we can affect the lives of others through negative thoughts, positive thoughts, our words, our actions, and so on, that we have that much power. But at the same time, we'll turn around and we'll say that we don't have enough power to create the life that we want. So which is it? Are we immensely powerful or are we not? You see the incongruence. And yes, we do affect other people. We can affect other people. But they also have their own choices to make about the direction that their life takes. And they also have the power to change their lives. But this video, it's about us. So the first step is to acknowledge that we are extremely powerful. We just need to figure out why we throw that power away, why we abdicate it. And that's the question, isn't it? So I wrote down, are you ashamed of asking for what you want? Do you feel that you would be greedy if you asked for more? Or do you feel that wonderful false statement that we make all the time, it's okay, or I'm okay, this wonderful excuse that we use all the time. And we say it all the time when we really aren't okay, and actually we need help. But that statement of, oh, it's OK, it sends out a really, really powerful message to the universe. It says to the universe, I don't need anything else. Leave me alone. I'm OK. And guess what? The universe listens very, very closely to the energy that we put out there. So if you put that message out of, it's OK, I don't mind being treated badly. I'm OK. I don't need anything else. This is exactly what the universe hears and what the universe thinks we want to call into our own lives. So it's time to use your power. Use your divine strength to create a visualisation of what you want, an image. Connect with your heart to know what you want. See it. Feel it. Take action towards it. It might be a tiny little action. It might be just ordering a brochure. It could be anything, but take some action towards what it is that you long for. And when you put all this energy together, then the expression of who you are will come into form. So your outer world is a direct expression of all your inner thoughts and all your inner energy. The expression that you create will shift out of this if you change your thoughts you will change it's a bit like us complaining and saying oh I'm not fit and yet never doing any exercise 
never joining a gym, just staying unfit. If you want to change something, you have to take an action towards building it. And as they said to me, if you keep painting with the same brushes on the same canvas, whilst looking at the same view, guess what? You're going to get exactly the same result, exactly the same painting. And I've said this a million times, the universe doesn't care what you want. It doesn't judge you. The universe will simply provide you with whatever it is that you wish for, whatever tools you choose. It's up to you. That may sound like the universe is cold and uncaring, but actually it gave us the freedom to be exactly who we want to be, to make the mistakes that we need to make and to rise up again when we choose to. So the question to ask yourself is, what do you need to change in your inner world in order that your outer world reflects exactly who you want to be. Be honest with yourself. You have to believe in yourself. This is the message I was given. You have to believe in yourself. It truly is the fastest way to build the dreams that you have. So I hope you'll take that on board and begin creating the expression of what sits inside of you and that you will end up living the life that you dream of and that you deserve. So I look forward to seeing you again, sending you many, many light blessings. Bye bye.